Welcome to Autodrix. For this design pattern, we're looking at misaligned cells, and this is a common problem that might happen with an Excel um, input file. If we look through here, it looks like we've got um, four lines that have all been right aligned, but when we actually look closer, we can see that we've actually got merged cells. When we look at how this is then brought into AutoX, we can see, if we look at the output anchor, that these are now in different columns, even though visually within the Excel file, they all look like they're right aligned. And this is because um, AutoX will bring through data in merge cells in the leftmost um, cell reference for that merge cell. So customer name is in the second column. If we look at the file, it started in column B and it went across to column D and order date is in column D, which shows that it's in the fourth column in our data. So how do we use Alteryx to clean this up? First, we want to bring in a record ID tool. And this enables us to add a record ID to each row of our data. And then we want to bring in a transpose tool. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our record ID as our key column, and then we're gonna make all of our data columns everything else apart from the record ID. When we run this workflow, we see now that on the output anchor, for each record ID, we've got the five columns of data, but it's been um, transposed so that each column of data is now a new row of data. What we then do is we filter out our null values from our value column, which will then just leave us the customer name is in column F2 and the value is in F5. And then to join these back together, we use a summarize tool where we will group by our record ID and then we'll concatenate the string of our value is a string function here concatenate and what we'll do for this version is we won't include a separator we'll run that and we can see now that for each of our rows of data we've now got the data here and then we just use a simple text of columns to pass this out we split on our colon delimiter because we know that's consistent across all of our data we'll split that into two columns And then we can rename these fields. So our concat value is our key, our concat value two is our value. And we can move the internal ones. We'll add a browse afterwards. And that shows you how we now clean up the data which was in misaligned merge cells within the Excel file. Thank you for watching. Click here to watch more and here to subscribe.